first thing I told the uh, radio and our players were, I cannot remember being a head coach here five years or uh, at Clemson for five years and ever seeing 70 with the other team and being pleased. But I got to tell you, I thought Northern Colorado, I knew they were a really good team and they're going to win a lot this year. I thought they made incredible shots. I really did. I never thought our guys weren't, not one of those nine or 10 that played. I never thought it ever escaped them to play hard and play smart. I really thought they made some great shots. Incredible. Was, yeah, it was electric. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, coming out for the starting lineups, the lights go off. You know, you can see the, even from the little stars at the top during the national anthem, it was just the whole production was amazing and the they did a great job. up and everything. Oh, right. that, was that was pretty so cool. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, we're still seeing things, learning things that are new and top notch about this facility still. Oh, man. I, I'd like to see the I'd like to see the replay because I think I had the biggest smile running back <laughs> running back down. It was uh, surreal. And it's really incredible was. as teammates to watch him succeed out there, yeah. knowing what he's been through. I mean, you know, absolutely. It's just it's just great, man. He told me this morning at our walkthrough, and I quote, "Coach, I've never been more nervous." And I said, "That's good. I'd rather be nervous than arrogant." And that's the way he is. You know, you got to love him. And he's going to have some moments where you're not sure if he's back. But you know what? He's back here. And I'm proud of him. Uh, well, I mean, me and, me and Larry spent a lot of time. I uh, was able to spend a lot of time with him through the recovery, just being in the, in the training room with him, you know, working on, on my stuff. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's definitely hard to come back from. And, you know, we, we always talk about, hey, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about coming back and, you know, worry about this. Don't worry about being the – player of the year, you know, on the first game, you know, just, just play, just, just do your own thing. And, uh, you know, he did that tonight and he was, he was nervous about it before the game. We were both a little bit nervous and I looked up at the scoreboard. I said, 21 and eight, I guess we can welcome him back. <laughs> we can work with that for sure. He did not want early touches. He did not want us running things for him. Um, he wanted to get into the flow. So we ran nothing for him the first 12 to 15 minutes. And then, you know what, his guys found him, and the game came to him. And then uh, I, I would dare say that he looked like good old Larry uh, those last 15 minutes. Um, but it's going to be a product of a collection of events, dunks, uh, turnarounds, uh, collisions. These are all tests that he's going to go through mentally, and I'm just happy he passed the first one. And, uh, it's great to see him out there. It was great to see Coach. That's what I got teary-eyed. It takes it takes some time. There's a lot of lot of the off-season stuff I contributed to outside shooting, so that's really what I what I've been working on. But you know, I got I hit a couple first, and then you know, then I got more confident uh, stepping back and hitting them for further out. But, you know, like I said, you got to attribute it to your teammates. I mean, I can't hit I can't hit four threes if I don't get four passes, and I got four passes and I knocked them down. They had confidence in me, and that boosts my confidence. Uh, you make 21 assists in 26 baskets. You got a pretty unselfish ball club, and uh, and made 18 of 22 free throws. That'll win a lot of games. I thought Junior Hankerson really proud. He turned the ball over the first dog on time he touched it, and he never had another one the whole game. Five assists, one turnover. I thought he did a nice job, as did all our guards. If I had one regret, it would only be that uh, Graybo shouldn't be playing 39 minutes. It's hard for me to take that little guy out but uh you know we got to get Lieberman and Jack in there a little bit more and uh we'll do that I mean it was definitely uh exciting just because the atmosphere was so crazy this being the first game here on the brand new court and everything but I mean I just look at it as a privilege I mean any opportunity I get to be on the court whether that's starting coming off the bench I mean every second I'm out there is incredible I think I think it was a little bit different because it's excitement to have a, you know such a great fan base be able to see it for the first time, and uh, I think that's why we we were able to play so well and get this win was we were able to feed off their energy, uh, you know it's a great fan base they really care about us. Uh, quick turnaround we scheduled, uh, you know if we ever get to the tournament that we actually want to get to, we're gonna have to play on a Friday Sunday or Thursday Saturday, so we scheduled four of those, the first ones coming up Tuesday. So we got a one day rest, probably got some tired guys, but uh, I'm, I'm just proud of them. They didn't get hung up with all the hoopla. And there were other people that needed to get hung up with the hoopla. It's an extraordinary building, a great job 
by the legislature, by our university, by our donors. But I'm really happy that they didn't get really focused on anything but let's play ball. And I thought they really were focused the whole game.